Mr. Mopar checking in with another DIY do-it-yourself how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to change your oil and filter in an Nissan Xterra 4.0 liter. This is our 2008 here. First thing you need, obviously, drain pan. This is a filter wrench. This is a big pair of channel locks. Sometimes the filter wrench just doesn't want to get it. You're going to need a 10 millimeter socket and a 14 millimeter socket or a wrench for your drain plug. The 10 millimeter is for the little shield here. Now you can take these two off here, which will give you access to the filter, but I find it's a lot easier just to take this whole shield off. And there is a 10 millimeter up in this hole, another one in that one, and then there's a couple in the back. Once that's off, out of the way, it gives you free access to the filter, to where you can either get the filter wrench or the big pair of channel locks on it. I'm gonna pause that, and I'll be back in a minute. So now that I've got the shield removed, you can see underneath here, and your oil filter is right here. It's a lot easier to get at with that whole, fill, whole shield removed versus just removing the little cover. This is your oil drain pan here. There's the plug, it's a 14 millimeter. And I personally only use Mobile One 530 full synthetic. The filter for these 4.0s is the Mobile One M1-110A. I'm gonna remove my drain plug, start to let that drain. Got my drain plug out, oil's draining. I usually give it about five or 10 minutes, let it drain real good. Put the plug back in and then come up and remove the filter. It does have this little slide here, but it's still gonna get oil everywhere. It's just not a bad, not in a great spot to uh, prevent making a mess. So I'm gonna pause that and I'll come back when I'm ready to remove the filter. So my oil is pretty well drained. I mean, you can see that there's still, you know, a little drip coming out of it, but that thing will drip like that all day long. That's good enough for myself. So I'm gonna put my plug back in and then move forward to my filter. So I used my filter wrench to loosen up the filter. Well, at least I thought I did. I guess I gotta loosen it a bit more. Okay, second time. I loosened it enough to get onto it by hand. And as you can see, the oil's gonna start running right off that little slide catch for it. And it's gonna make a mess, always does. And again, that is the mobile one 110A for the 4.0 liter engine. I'm gonna give that a couple of minutes to drain. I'm gonna put my new filter back on, fill it back up, and she's done. So here's my new filter. I always double check the rubber gasket on top, just to make sure there's any nicks or anything in it. And when I put these on, I get a new pair of gloves so I can get a good, a good grip on it. And I tighten it pretty much as tight as I can get it by hand. And that's uh, never done me wrong. I've never had it leak that way. If you're new to this, again, this is the 4.0 liter. This is your oil fill right here. If you're daring, you can pour it in and not make a mess. I prefer a funnel. As you can see, I like to keep my engine clean and that helps. Another thing that I like to do after I put about half of my jug of oil in, I like to give it some sea foam. Again, you'll get, you know, mixed opinions on this stuff. I personally have had really good luck with it, um, and I always do it basically every oil change. It tells you on the back for crankcase oil, you want one ounce for each quart of oil. It's a 20 fluid ounce can, so I mean, you want basically a quarter of it, roughly. Got it filled up, got my plug and filter, all everything back in, got my shield put back on, my oil change is done. I always check it when I'm done just to make sure that it is full. So again, this is a Nissan Xterra 4.0 liter. What you need is your oil. I use Mobile One Full Synthetic 5W30, the Mobile One 110A filter, a sea foam treatment, a 10 millimeter, a 14 millimeter, your filter wrench, your drain pan, 
and you can change your own oil. Let me know if this helped you out. And if you got any questions, drop a comment, leave a like. Appreciate your views.